Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. Chemotherapy is really the cornerstone of therapy for poorly differentiated uh, pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, and platinum etoposide combinations are typically the first line treatment, although it's important to emphasize that there are other regimens that can be equally successful, such as Folfox or Fulfirinox. They just haven't been studied uh, um, uh, quite as much as the platinum etoposide combination. For more well differentiated tumors, uh, chemotherapy has been used for many years, typically in the past with streptozosin based combinations, such as streptozosin 5FU or streptozosin doxorubicin. More recently, temozolomide based combinations, the most common of which I would say is capecitabine temozolomide. I tend to use that combination quite frequently because of the high response rates and relatively good tolerability. Um, as far as side effects, we see significant thrombocytopenia occurring in about 10 to 15 percent of cases. Uh, but otherwise, it's a fairly well tolerated regimen, and it does seem to be associated with both high response rates and relatively long time to tumor progression. Although it's important to emphasize that uh, temozolomide has not been rigorously studied in randomized controlled studies, as have the uh, targeted agents such as Everolimus and Sunitinib. We're looking forward to the results of a randomized study comparing temozolomide monotherapy to take capecitabine temozolomide probably sometime in 2016 or 2017. In patients with bulky disease or widely metastatic tumor and who are progressing, I would consider chemotherapy. If you feel like stable disease is not enough and you really need to debulk the tumors, the treatment was probably the most robust uh, response rate in terms of tumor shrinkage still comes back to chemotherapy. Uh, the two types of chemotherapy that are used, one is streptozosin-based chemotherapy, the other, perhaps a little bit less well uh, studied in prospective studies, uh, includes uh, timozolomide-based chemotherapy. Another reason to use chemotherapy would often be in the situation where the patient has failed prior biologic therapy, including targeted agents such as everolimus or sunitinib. And in those patients where treatment option becomes fewer, Cytotoxic chemotherapy you know, definitely needs to be remembered in terms of having an active role in the management of these diseases. In terms of a predictor of response to chemotherapy, uh, there's really not much data for streptozosin-based chemotherapy. There are some data uh, suggesting uh, MGMT may be a predictor of response to timozolomide-based chemotherapy. However, this is still a controversial area with different investigators reporting different results in terms of whether uh, MGNT is a great predictor of response. Chemotherapy has been used in patients who have metastatic neuroendocrine tumors. Um, again, there are two broad categories of neuroendocrine tumors, carcinoid and pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, and chemotherapy seems to be most effective in pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. Again, it can be quite effective. Uh, response rates with chemotherapy uh, and the two that have been used are either streptozosin or temozolomide uh, range in about, the response rates for those two agents uh, range from around 30 to 40%. So in a patient where your goal is to try to shrink the tumor down, uh, for example, if the patient has symptoms of tumor bulk, uh, we will often consider chemotherapy in a patient like that. One question is how long do you give chemotherapy. Um, generally with chemotherapy and pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, uh, if you're going to see a response, you usually see that response within the first three to four months. Uh, if a patient is responding or has sta stable disease, uh, we'll often continue it for a longer duration of time. Sometimes because of the cumulative side effects of chemotherapy, uh, it's a little tough to continue it for more than a year, for example. Uh, so after a year or so, uh, often we'll give patients a treatment break.